We were all going up in the air. I seen gowns, but it could have been robes. I, I was so excited going up. We all had our hands up and we were going up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Hey, God bless you guys. It's me, Crystal for Jesus, back with another video. I pray you're having a blessed and awesome and wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. I love you guys so much. I'm so blessed that you have come back to join me on my channel today. It's really a blessing. You guys are the sweetest. I love you so much. And you guys are such a good, such great supporters as well. I'm just so blessed that y'all like all of you who are always watching my channel, I love you because you directly support helping me to do giveaways. Like my funds from YouTube go straight to giving giveaways and creating like really fun gifts to give out like Bibles and Bible bags and, you know, just like hats and accessories and equipping people to love Jesus, get closer to Jesus, and to preach Jesus. So thank you guys so much for just being so supportive and so sweet and always watching. And even to my channel members, my channel members, I have not literally like thanked you for your guys' support and just your ministry support and being a member of the channel. So thank you so much because you guys are also directly supporting my giveaways and helping me to give gifts to uh, everybody on um, my channel. So thank you so much as well. With that being said, I have a wonderful sister who emailed me. She wanted to share her dream that she got from the Lord. And so we're going to go ahead and jump into this. I believe she had a dream of the rapture. So we're going to go ahead and watch it and see what exactly she experienced. So let's go ahead and get into it. Hello, everyone. I am coming to you today to tell you about a dream that I had around 30 years ago. Uh, I was not saved yet, did not know the Lord, and I was going through a very dark period in my life. Actually, it drove me to try to commit suicide, but God had other plans for me. I went to sleep and I had a dream of the rapture of the church. We were all going up in the air. I seen gowns, but it could have been robes. I, I was so excited to be going up that I didn't even really pay attention too much to the gowns. I did see other saints around me though. Going up, we all had our hands up and we were going up in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. But before I seen him, I did wake up. I didn't get to see this, the Lord, but I did know that it was the rapture of the church because I grew up in a denomination that actually taught it. And I had other spiritual people around me that would uh, teach me about it. I was in my early 20s, but I did get saved at the age of 34, which was in 2004. God was showing me that, that I would be saved. I'm so glad I did because I actually thought I was saved and I was not saved until 2004. So thank God I did not go with go through with what I wanted to at the time uh, because I would have been in hell, the lake of fire, and that would have been really scary. I'm so glad that God uh, saved me at such a time as this. We are living in a world of turmoil like, you know, Matthew 24 talks about wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes in various places, nation against nation. Luke 21 says, when you see all these things begin to come to pass, then look up because your redemption is drawing near. Look up, lift up your head because you're going up. Praise the Lord. I am so excited to know that we are in the time of Christ's soon return. I am 54 years old and have never heard of so many testimonies of brothers and sisters having dreams and visions of the rapture as I do now. I just heard about it. And I know we didn't have social media back then, but even then, as many saints as I have known, never heard testimonies about dreams and visions as I do now. So we're, give, we're living in exciting times, saints. God is going to take care of us. He is our provider. We do not have to worry. He will never leave you nor forsake you. 
He is taking care of us. He has our back 100%, 100% in control with the solar that's going to happen in uh, April 8th. We don't even have to be concerned about that because we know that God is totally in control and he will protect his children. He will provide for us. He says to keep your eyes on him, keep your mind on him because he will give you perfect peace whose mind is stayed on them, on him. Praise the Lord. So we know that we are drawing close. We know that we are right here at the door and I am so excited. I love hearing the other sisters and brothers having dreams and visions. It really encourages me uh, because the trials get harder and the persecution gets harder. But, you know, knowing that God said that we are to encourage, encourage each other, one another with these words, praise the Lord, that his soon return is very near. Praise the Lord. I am so glad. I just wanted to bring this to you. I just wanted to tell you that I am so excited that Jesus is coming soon and he is coming so soon. So when you feel like you're feeling sad or you're you're depressed or you're going through something in your life, just know this. God has your back. He loves you 100% and he will uh, give you a uh, peace and give you comfort through whatever you're going through with. You know, I was going through other dark times in my life when, you know, my son did take his life and didn't want to get out of bed. God got me out of bed. <laughs> he used other people to really encourage me and let me know that it's about him and not about me. I am so glad that we serve such a merciful God and a, a God full of grace and truth to know that he is coming for his children and he's coming for us before the great tribulation. I am a pre-tribulationist. I do believe that God will come for us and take us out of here before it gets really dark. Just keep looking up, saints. Keep watchful. If you don't know the Lord, turn to the Lord, repent and cry out to God. Romans 10, 9 says to confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. You shall be saved. Amen. Look to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. God is there for you. He's right there for you. He has never left you. And he wants to save you if you do not know him. Please cry out to him. Today is the day for salvation. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, saints, for everything, for being there for us, for encouraging us. I love you guys. Keep looking up. We are going to see each other soon in the clouds. Praise the Lord. God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sis. God bless you. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. And I am so, so grateful and so proud of you. And I know that Jesus is proud of you as well. When we get to heaven for Jesus to say, well done, good and faithful servant. Well done. And give us that awesome pat on the back, right? Or just a hug. Oh, you just going to hug Jesus. I can't wait to hug Jesus, you know. Um, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was so beautiful. And man, I'm just so excited. Y'all, we literally are living in the last days and it's so important that we are sharing these dreams and visions, right? Like she was saying, you've never seen anything like this happen before, you know, and the fact of the internet coming to life and, you know, what Satan tries to use for evil, God can also use for good, you know, the World Wide web. And we are able to really, really get the gospel out and preach Jesus around the entire world. And we get to share these dreams and visions right from our home, right? Because imagine the apostles in their day literally had to go walking around and like going all the way over to other cities and to other countries, you know, and obviously we God still has people doing that. But like literally we can serve God and reach people so easily from our homes now. And that is just so amazing. And I'm just so grateful. Thank you, Jesus, that I can, you know, stay with my kids and be with my family and still be reaching, 
you know, thousands of people around the world. Like, I just love it so much. And I hope that this really blessed y'all and get a fire for God. I'm going to pray right now in Jesus' name that everybody watching this will receive a fire for you, Jesus. Fire for God. Amen. A fire for Jesus and a fire to read their Bibles. Amen. Because I know that it can be hard. I'm trying to like be in the Word every day. And the Lord has right now, He's been teaching me um, how to be more thankful every day, to to focus on what is good and what's what to be thankful for, you know? Let's look at the roses and not the thorns, right? Let's be you know, optimist and not a pessimist and looking at the thorns instead of looking at everything we have to be thankful for. Amen. Like thankful for that, all the things that we do have instead of the things that we don't have. Amen. So I love y'all so much. And if you made it to the end of this video, please leave below in the comments some roses. Please leave some roses down below. Um, because we want to focus on what is good and lovely and true and amazing and beautiful and happy and what is joyful. Amen. So thank you all so much for joining me today and I will see you guys again soon in the next one. Bye.